In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a need line or ground line intercept from your corridors. Here I'm starting in a 3D seed file. I don't have any reference attachments. And I want to reference the corridor corridors that would make up my need line. So in this case, I'm just going to attach one. And I have a corridor here, this one called corridor setup. I'm going to attach the 3D model. Here I have my 3D model now attached, and I want to create a terrain for this. So I'm just going to use the graphical filter to do that. I'm going to select paving with grading surface. I'll select remove slivers. Uh, the feature definition here is just road triangles. I'm not too concerned about the feature definition or the name for this one, but uh, I'll accept through the prompts. See here it created my terrain. If I look at that, you can see I have some extra triangles here that don't match up. So I can delete those. To do that, I'm just going to go ahead and remove the rules so the terrain is no longer ruled to the corridor. I'm going to turn off my corridor displays. I'm going to edit that terrain by triangles. So I'll select my terrain. And I'll just start deleting these extra triangles. That one looks pretty good. Once I have my extra triangles deleted, I'm going to go to boundary options. And I'm going to add a boundary. I'm going to extract graphic and I want to pick the ground intercept feature definition. You can find that under linear, corridor modeler, grading ground line intercept. You can give this any name you would like. I'll locate that terrain model. Accept through that. If I turn off my terrain level, you can see now that I have this need line or limits of construction. And the only thing I would need to do now is I would reference this file and just copy that into where I need it to show that limits of construction. And that's really all there is to it on creating the limits of construction or indoor ground line intercept from your corridors.